You don't have to look any further than the tags on cars in Georgia to find out what fruit makes Georgia famous. Of course, Georgia is the peach state. Thousands of bushels of peaches are grown in Fort Valley in the middle part of Georgia to satisfy consumers here in this state and all over the southeast. I think there are other states that probably produce a few more peaches than Georgia does, but nobody produces them better than we do in Georgia. Now today, I have finally finished planting this peach in this little orchard. I dug a great big hole around the area where I'm going to plant the peach. I spread the roots out properly in the bottom of that hole. And finally, I put some pine straw around the base of it to hold moisture in during the summertime while it establishes. But there's one more thing that I have to do to get this peach to produce properly, and that is to prune it. And where am I going to prune it? Not up here, not right here. I'm going to prune it right here. Now, before you recall in horror and say, why in the world is he cutting off the top of that nice peach tree, let's learn how to prune peaches properly from Dr. Mark Rieger at the University of Georgia. Well, Walter, we prune peaches to the open center configuration, and uh, that's to let more light into the center of the tree. It sort of looks like a wine glass there, but that not only helps the tree grow better and the fruit grow to grow, but it improves the red color on the fruit surface, and it also reduces the incidence of disease by drying the foliage and the fruit off sooner. Now you want to start this open center uh, branching at about 24 inches off the ground and train it out at a more or less a 45 degree angle. Now this is a mature peach tree that has been pruned properly. Let's see what happened. Initially, when it was planted, it was pruned right about here, just above my knee. It healed over very nicely, but notice how the buds sprouted out. It was some nice scaffold limbs. They sprouted out a couple of times too. And now we have a very open center to this peach tree, allowing a lot of sunshine to come down into the center and touch the leaves. And of course, with more sunshine, more sugar, more sugar, more fruit, better peaches in your landscape. But are there other fruit trees that are pruned in a little bit different way? Let's go back and ask Dr. Rieger. That's right, Walter. Uh, different trees are pruned differently. It depends on their natural habit. If we look at the peach again over here, it has a tendency to be a naturally bushy, kind of an open tree. So we tend to prune it with an open center system that does uh, justice to it. An apple, on the other hand, tends to be an upright, strong growing tree. So we will use a central leader system, which is an identifiable main bowl in the tree or main trunk there. And then we'll have tiers of scaffold limbs that display the fruit to the sun at different heights. Now, whereas in the open center, we have the sunlight coming in from the center and from the sides to do the color and the disease reduction and everything. Here, we're going to use the different distances between the tiers of limbs to do the same thing. So we want them to be far enough apart to allow the sun to come in, to dry the foliage, to dry the fruit, to color the fruit for us. And if it's a large tree, it's going to be more like four feet in between. If it's a dwarf tree and a dwarfing apple rootstock, it'll only be two feet between the tiers. And then we prune, just as I said before. Now this is a fruit tree that was pruned to have a central leader, but it was pruned properly from the beginning. Let's examine it and see what happened. Notice that the first pruning cut was made about right here, two and a half feet from the ground. Several of the buds sprouted out, so it had that nice, strong scaffold down there low to the ground. One of the buds decided to go straight for the sky, and it went straight upwards. And again, at about three feet from the lower scaffold, it was pruned once more. More limbs sprouted out. One of those buds will go straight for the sky again, and we'll get our ladder out here, climb up in the top, and cut it off about two or three feet above this second pruning cut. And that way you establish a tree that has a central leader with several scaffolds of branches as they go up to the top of the tree. It's different from the open center and different plants are pruned in different ways in order to maximize your fruit production. You can contact your local county extension service and we'll have a link to them right after the show so you'll know how to care for all of these different fruit trees and prune them in the proper way. Well, now that we've learned how to prune our fruit trees properly, let's do the dirty deed. Now on this particular peach tree, I think I'm gonna make my cut right here. Why? Because I see there's a nice strong bud here, nice one here, nice one on the other side, and even one behind that you can't see. So if I prune right here, I'll have that nice open center that Dr. Rieger described for us. And this is gonna hurt me a lot more 
then it hurts you.